guys uh, this video uh, will be on creating charts in excel okay so to create a chart in excel we will be needing a set of uh, data and uh, that data uh, will be uh, of the drives instead data uh, i will be creating a chart which will display the uh, drives uh, free space as well as use space in my system Okay, and that drive will be of the right file system. Okay, so first of all, let us uh, use a CMD let which will give you the uh, all the drives on your system. So for that, we can use this CMD let called get ps drive. And once you type this uh, get ps drive, you will get something. Uh, you get output something like this. Okay, so I'll not be using all this. You can see this uh, provider field. Okay. So I'll not be using all of these, but I'll be using all the drives which uh, uh, which has the provider uh, type as file system. So let's filter it out. Here we have this parameter provider, and we have to uh, we have to give the input as the file system. So I'll be using this one. So let's see. So you can see it has filtered out all the provider whose uh, type is uh, file type file system. Okay. Now, uh, what I'll be doing here is uh, I'll be uh, I will be, I will be exporting this uh, output to a file uh, to to Excel file. Okay, and in order to uh, export that uh, file, uh, sorry, export this in, into a Excel file, uh, there is a simply let which is called export Excel. Okay, um, <clears throat> and uh, this expo, uh, this ex export Excel is actually inside a module which is developed by Doc Finke, uh, um, which is a very famous or very useful PowerShell module. And the name of the module is uh, Import Excel. Okay. So first of all, we'll have to uh, uh, first of all in order to create or in order to create or uh, leverage this advantage of PowerShell uh, of this uh, Excel automation, you need to use that uh, module. The name of that module is import. First, let me import that module. Then only we can use import module name. And the name of that module is import. Okay. And let me import it first. And then only we will be able to, able to use. Now I will be exporting the output. And for those of you who are not familiar what I am doing, you can go back to my previous videos where I have discussed all these things about the portion modules and how we can export import everything I've discussed so I'll not be covering that thing here you can go back to that uh, video and then uh, after uh, you get comfortable you can come back here so import Excel then we have to give the path name and I uh, and uh, I'll not be uh, means I'll be installing or I'll be giving the path name uh, of my desktop okay Give this and copy this. I'll copy this, and here is the path name. Now I'm giving the name of the file. So uh, uh, you can give any name of the file, and you don't need to, you know, uh, 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 you don't need the that the file should be present at the desktop. It will be automatically created. Okay, so the name of the file is text Excel dot xlx along with the extension sorry and there is an attribute called show so it will open the file and it will print all this thing. As you can see, it has given a lot of data which we don't need. What I need is this name used and free. Okay, and I don't need all of these. So what uh, I can do then? First, let us close this. And uh, let me delete this file also. Okay. I'm deleting this file. I have deleted already. Now, what I will be doing is I will be using the CMD 
select object. Select object. I want name used and three. Okay. So let's see now what happens then. First of all, we can we can uh, uh, check uh, check it here. Uh, okay. What is the output here? As you, you can see, it is giving me these outputs. Now let us verify whether this thing is printed here. They are uh, uh, printed on the actual sheet or not. Okay. is printed but here you can see that this is giving me some you know uh, uh, data in exponential form or uh, you can say in dot uh, in in the power of exponential okay. so i don't need that thing i want that it, it should be fitted means whole uh, that thing the data should be more presentable so what i have to do is let me again delete that file Let's go back. Right. Let's keep this. We have a parameter called auto size. Now, if you will run it, see, everything is clear now. But here you can see that this. Uh, data I want this thing this uh, number in GBs this is in bytes I think so I want that thing but how I can do it how how I will get it so for this I will be creating custom object okay powerful custom object okay so let's create a partial custom object I hope you all are, uh, know you, you all know how to create a partial custom object for that we have this notation is very simple name Name will be you have to um, you can give any name. So I will even used in GB. Then expression is equal to. So uh, here you have to give the uh, expression. Means you have to give the the uh, uh, the pipeline uh, which you want as this means the custom object. Okay, so. I will be needing, I want this one dot used. Okay. So I'll be, I, uh, I want this thing. So let's see whether this thing is created or not first. So to verify that, let me, let me know. Let me change the orientation. This will be good okay, so that you'll be able to see everything here. So uh, yeah, here it is. Now first let us run this only. Okay, so you will see that the custom object is created. You can see this is created. But I want these things to be displayed in GB. So what I'll be doing here is I'll be dividing it by one GB. Let us see now. something wrong huh okay 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 perfect now let's show now you can see here that it is displaying in gvs but here you can see that uh, this thing is means we have uh, so many digits after the decimal place so we'll be using the um, mathematical uh, library or uh, for this so that it will only display two things. Uh, the, uh, uh, to display, I, I want to uh, only two digits to be displayed after the decimal. So for that, I'm be using the math library here. And for this, I'll be using this round function, round, and then. Places. I want this uh, two decimal places. I want two digits after the decimal place. Let us see 
what happens? You can see that we have got this. Now, what I'll be doing this? I want to display all these things here in Excel sheet. So first of all, let me delete this once again. Now let's see what happens once I run it. You can see that we have this object created, this custom object created, and it is displaying the use space in GD. Now, the whole thing, now uh, the fun part begins here. Okay, so I'll be using another CMD let to export the import data from this Excel. Import Excel path. Of the Excel, which is in this case uh, the uh, test Excel. This one, and I want this whole data to be stored in a variable called uh, not dollar, just drive used. Now let us read this. Uh, let me first clear this and then you will understand what I am trying to do. You can see this. Now this whole of, uh, this whole, uh, you can say, this whole data is stored here in uh, drive use variable. Let's verify it. First let me again clear it. And now let's verify it. Let's work on the chart. Okay. So, in order to work on the chart, first let us create the background of the chart, the canvas. Okay. So, how we can do it? This first let us create a variable chart data. Now we have this new CMDLET, uh, new Excel chart definition CMDLET where you have to give the, first let us give the x-axis, x-axis here will be using the name, okay, now after that y-axis or y-range, y-range will be the used in GB, okay, now uh, let us give the title, title should be uh, drive used or let us say that uh, title we are giving is drive use. Okay. Now let us give the chart type. Means what type? What chart we, uh, we can create? There are a number of charts here. As you can see here, uh, if I open the Excel, you can see the chart. How uh, you can see this column chart, this uh, line chart, pie chart, bar chart. Okay. So these are the options available with the uh, Excel. So here we will be doing the same thing. Okay, so I will be using first column cluster chart. Okay, and now this is the type of chart which we are using. Now we have to, this is the canvas actually, and now we have to use this canvas to display this data. So, how what I will be, will be doing here? We are using this drive use data, then export it to the Excel. Part, sorry. Part will be again the test Excel. The same sheet we are using. Okay, I'll have to give the worksheet name, the sheet that this data is. And this data is at sheet one. Okay. Sheet one. Now uh, I'll have to give the actual chart definition 
and this will be this and this actual chart definition will be means this will be the uh, this will be the uh, we have to mention the chart canvas it okay so the chart canvas is this chart data it will give the idea uh, it will give excel to the idea that we have selected uh, this one right uh, we have selected this particular chart and now it will uh, fill the data here this data here on this and a graph or whatever uh, kind of thing uh, whatever kind of graph or uh, kind of chart you want to use it will display in that form only okay and we uh, we will be using an attribute called auto name range so that it will only select this um, means why we have we are doing this so that it will only select the this whole range only means this whole name range uh, sorry this whole name range or so you can see this whole data only where it is uh, uh, the excel sheet is still where the actual sheet is filled okay otherwise it will select all of this so we don't need that thing okay and now i'll be using again again an attribute called sorry show so let me delete this and let me run this from the start uh you will get always it will be two shows so this will not run the partial uh, engine will get confused so uh, let's run you can see that it has uh, displayed this chart okay uh suppose if you want to miss i i would like to show that it is not limited to this kind of chart only so we can change the chart type also so from here you can go here suppose i want to display pie chart so let's see let's let's display this 3d pie chart again i will close this again i will close this and uh, let's run it again you can see that this is displaying this pie chart okay let's uh, take another example we have so many examples here let us take this one okay let's take this one i'll again delete this Let's again rerun. See. Okay, so guys, uh, this was uh, so guys, this was all uh, about the creating uh, uh, charts uh, in Excel. So I hope you would have found it uh, very useful. Okay. So in case you have find it useful and want me to uh, create more videos on this, then please give a thumbs up and uh, comment on the uh, comment section. Thank you very much.